Hi everyone! Today we're going to study component form and length of a vector. A vector is a quantity or phenomenon that has two independent properties, magnitude and direction. Examples of vectors in nature are velocity, momentum, force, electromagnetic fields, etc. A real-world example of a vector can be seen in indicating the motion of a vehicle. A quantity or phenomenon that exhibits magnitude only with no specific direction is called a scalar. Examples of scholars include speed, mass, electrical resistance, and hard drive storage capacity. A vector in the plane is a directed line segment denoted by vector AB. Two letters or points are put together here with an arrow on top. Or Vector A. The directed line segment has initial point A and terminal point B, and its magnitude or length is denoted by this symbol. So we read this as length of vector AB. If V is a two dimensional vector in the plane, with initial point at the origin and terminal point at xy, then the component form of V is denoted by V equals the ordered pair xy. The length of vector V denoted by this symbol and we read this as length of vector V. We have the square root of the quantity x square plus y square. Example, find the length of the vector v equals 2, comma 5. With our formula here, let us substitute the corresponding values. So this is equal to the square root of the quantity 2 square plus 5 square. So we have now the square root of 4 plus 25. The final answer is the square root of 29. If V is a three dimensional vector in space with initial point at the origin and terminal point at x, y, z, then the component form of V is denoted by V equals X, Y, Z. The length of vector V denoted by this symbol. So length of vector V equals the square root of the quantity X square plus Y square plus Z square. As an example, let us find the length of the vector V equals 2, comma, 5, comma, negative 1. Using our formula, let us substitute the corresponding values. So we have now the big square root of 2 square plus 5 square plus the square of negative 1. So when we simplify this, we have the square root of 4 plus 25 plus 1 that comes into square root of 30. And this is the final answer. If vector v equals v sub 1, comma, v sub 2, comma, v sub 3 is represented by a directed line segment, the vector AB, where the initial point A equals x sub 1, comma, y sub 1, comma, 
z sub 1. And terminal point b equals x sub 2, comma, y sub 2, comma, z sub 2. Then the component form of v is, this is the formula, v equals, the first term will be x sub 2 minus x sub 1, comma. The second term, y sub 2 minus y sub 1, comma, z sub 2 minus z sub 1. Now the length of vector AB is, this is the formula, length of vector AB equals the big square root of the quantity, the square of x sub 2 minus x sub 1, plus the square of the quantity y sub 2 minus y sub 1, plus the square of z sub 2 minus z sub 1. Let us see this example. Let the initial point and the terminal point of a directed line segment, the vector PQ, be P equals negative 3, 4, 1, and Q equals negative 5, 2, and 2. Now, find letter A, component form of the vector PQ. Problem B, the length of the vector PQ. Let's begin with problem A. Let us write the formula for the component form. Then let us substitute the corresponding values. So we have now negative 5 minus negative 3, comma, 2 minus 4, comma, and 2 minus 1. Simplifying this, we have now negative 2, comma, negative 2, comma, positive 1. This is now the component form. Let us copy this below problem A. Let's proceed with problem B, the length of the vector PQ. And we have the formula here. Let us substitute the corresponding values and let us simplify further. So the final answer will be 3. And this answer will just copy below the problem B. I hope you learned something from this video. See you again next time. Thank you.